Hello guys, Alex here. Welcome back to my channel. It's just me and my coffee. I'm just sitting around having my morning coffee. I wanted to make some breakfast, but wouldn't you know it? The fridge is emptier than gyms in December, man. So, gotta go to the supermarket. I decided I film it and I wanna show you guys what I would typically buy on the usual supermarket shopping run. If this is the first time we're meeting, I am Alex from the KetoFatLoss.com. I provide fitness related content on this channel, content related to losing weight, maintaining your weight, building muscle, and I mostly enjoy cooking low calorie anabolic recipes. So you'll find a lot of recipes on this channel, but also videos such as this one or others where I provide instructional material, vlogs, challenges, and any at all fitness related content I can master. And I know you shouldn't be drinking your calories but I cannot drink black coffee. I always add 100 ml of skimmed milk to my coffee and that's a huge coffee cup by the way. That's how I like my coffee. So yeah, let's go see what supermarkets have in store for us today. Okay, so we're going out for a bit of a shopping run. I'm low on supplies, so let's make our grocery haul. So we're back from the supermarket. I have six large bags full of stuff here. And you know what I did? I brought in all of these in one trip from the car. I think I actually hit a PR on my deadlift trying to lift three bags in each hand. So let's unpack these and see what I got. So that is quite a lot. Let's go through the frozen items first so I can put them away because they're defrosting as we speak. So this is how I buy my chicken breast. These are individually frozen chicken breast slices. I buy these frozen and not fresh because I have a large freezer and I can store a shit ton of these. I just get one out, defrost it in the microwave, throw it in the pan, throw a bit of seasoning on and it turns out amazing. Can be on a low calorie diet without chicken breast. I also eat a ton of veg also. So I got cauliflower, another huge bag. Broccoli, some green peas, green beans, mushrooms, man, gotta love mushrooms, some baby carrots, and a very convenient stir fry with rice and mushroom. Just pop it in the skillet, put a bit of chicken breast next to it, and your meal is ready. I mean it for convenience, man. I don't, I don't create anabolic recipes every single day. I do make them for fun, I like cooking, I enjoy being around the kitchen, but on a day-to-day -day basis, I eat convenient stuff like this. Chicken breast, stir fry, something you can throw in the pan and cook 15 minutes and done. Most of my meals are simple meals with simple ingredients. For my other meat source, we have fish. This is Alaskan Pollock. Po Pollock? Pollock? How do you pronounce that? It's just codfish, we just call it cod. We need some omega fatty acids in our diet, so fish is a must have. And for another meat source, we have 
Chicken liver. I don't know if you like chicken liver. I love it. Liver and onions doesn't get any more anabolic than that. Really savory. And it's one of those recipes that you either love it or you hate it. What else? Meats. This is deli meat. The chicken breast deli meat. It comes in uh, chunks here. It doesn't come in, uh, in slices as it does for you. And these chunks are actually a replacement for chicken breast. Whenever I'm on the run and I, and I don't have time to prepare something, I just cut a chunk of this and it's basically just cooked chicken breast that's compacted into this shape. We have our frozen strawberries, frozen blueberries, and you know what these are for? The anabolic ice cream, man. Can run low on these. Okay, as for fresh veggies, we got a bag of tomatoes, Two large cucumbers. I just like making salads. And these, for a salad, for me, are the base ingredients. Of course, lettuce. Some red peppers. Big bag of apples. We're gonna be making an apple crumble later. Videos right there. Go watch. Potatoes, potatoes. These are my favorite go-to meal because I just pop them in the oven, put a little seasoning on them. They'll be ready in like 20 minutes. And I gotta say, I've been into low calorie eating for over five years now. I don't know if my taste has changed, but I prefer the oven fries more than regular French fries. What else? This is low fat cream cheese, 0.2% fat. I use this in almost all of my recipes. This is so convenient, along with the Greek yogurt, of course. This is 0% fat. Greek yogurt and cream cheese are really, really helpful as they have tons of protein and a very small fat content. They're so versatile in every recipe. Next, milk. Milk, this is how I buy my milk. This is the cheapest one I can get because almond milk, just look at this. This is the price for the regular ass and that's the price for almond milk. I know the currency doesn't tell you much, but just look at the number itself. Almond milk is four times the price of regular milk. Oh well, no thank you. I'm going with the plain ass white milk. I'm sticking to the regular tiri milk. Next we have light mozzarella cheese. This has 8 grams of fat and 157 calories. These go amazing on a pizza, along with these tiny mozzarella balls. These go really well with some low calorie pizza sauce. Next, we have a light cream cheese spread. This is a really light spread. You can just throw on a piece of toast and it can be a really filling breakfast. This is 64 calories per 100 grams. Here we don't have serving sizes. Every calorie and macro we get on the packaging is per 100 grams. So this entire thing has about 130 calories. What else? The lowest calorie ketchup I can find and the lowest calorie mustard. These are a must have. I eat a lot of mustard and ketchup. I usually use these together. I use them in wraps. I use them in salads. And complementary to these, I get this baby. That's the KFC garlic sauce. I don't know if KFC sauce in your country is full of garlic like it's here, but we're in Romania with all the vampires running around. We need a lot of garlic. So, KFC sauce has 295 calories per 100 grams, but you only use just a few squirts of it. It adds 30 calories to your recipe, but adds a lot of taste to it. This is really worth the calories, guys. Speaking of sauces, this is a must-have in my kitchen. This is light soy sauce. This helped me get into chicken breast because I couldn't eat it without it. Chicken breast is always so dry, so you need to add something savory, you need to add some moisture to it. And I found that soy sauce works perfectly together with it. So this is about 60 calories for the whole thing, and you'll, you'll be using just a small bit at a time. From the bakery aisle, I got some Oreo powder. Gonna be making some Oreo cakes. Here we have some light whipped cream. 
I don't know if you can get this, not this particular brand, but this has crazy low calories. It only has 120 calories for this entire package. You just mix this up with 150 ml of water. It makes a large bowl full of whipped cream. Here we have some pudding mixes for our anabolic protein ice cream. This is the chocolate, this is the vanilla flavor, and this is the white chocolate hazelnut flavor. What else? I got a bunch of seasoning. This is cinnamon, red paprika powder, this is baking powder, this is how you can get baking powder. I'm buying quite a lot of these. Coke Zero, of course. Gotta have some Diet Pop. I'm having one right now. Cheers. Here we have some plain ass white flour for baking. Some sweetener, the Splenda knockoff I can buy. The Stevia erythritol sweetener. And every time I go to the grocery store, every time I go to the supermarket, I gotta go past all of the chocolate bar aisles, all of the ice cream aisles, and with my crazy sweet tooth, it's hard to resist. So I allow myself a treat of 150 calories tops. I chose the Lion, Nestle's Lion Bar. It has 146 calories per piece. So 146 calories will not make or break your diet. So I'm left here with these two items, well, two item groups that I really want to address. We have four different types of breads and we have some canned kidney beans and chickpeas. What I want to talk about is the food labels, the nutritional info, because these two in particular, they are both kidney beans. Nothing more, nothing less. It's just kidney beans, salt and water. Kidney beans, salt and water. The same, the same. This claims it has 83 calories per 100 grams. This one claims it has 53 calories per 100 grams. And this one has 110. So how do you know which one is real? How do you know the truth? Well, you gotta do some research. You cannot trust the labels. Labels lie. They have a right to lie. They are allowed to lie because, at least in my country, no one gets to verify these labels. So these companies, each and every one, will do everything in their power for you to buy their product. They're on to us. They know we're counting calories. They know we're looking at the macros. You have to do research and see exactly what red kidney beans have by default and not trust these labels. I'm just assuming the one that says it has 53 calories per 100 grams, I think it also included the water these are in. The one that says 110 only refer to the red kidney beans themselves and not, and not the water in these. So it's just assuming. With chickpeas we get the same thing. The brand I had before said 120, this one says 72 calories per 100 grams. You gotta pay real close attention to the labels and you should not trust these labels because they will knock you off your calorie deficit. So be very careful with labels. The same thing happens to bread. This brand is the one I usually get and it's made with gram flour. We have 57 calories per slice. This is just regular ass white bread. See, toast classic. This is 75 calories per slice. So 57. 75. This one claims to be even lower in calories, but that is because it has potato flakes. So it's a potato bread. So I can believe this has lower calories. Why? In order to reduce the calories from this regular ass white bread. How do you reduce the calories of something? You mix it with something that's lower in calories than all of the other ingredients. So the main ingredient for this is white flour, which is, uh, which is 80% of the entire thing. If you replace the white flour with bran flour, you get lower calories. If you add potato flakes to your bread, potato is lower in calories than white flour, you can get a lower calorie bread. So I believe these to be true and not lie on the label. What does this guy do? These fuckers claim their bread has 32 calories a slice. 32. When the best I can find is 57. Regular ass white bread, 75. 
How can this be 32? It's just regular as white bread, nothing special. So how can a bread that only has white flour, water and yeast be lower in calories than the regular as white bread which has the exact same ingredients? The answer is it can. These are liars. These are all lies. Don't trust the labels. Do research. Make sure if something is lower in calories, make sure it makes sense. The lower calorie count must come from somewhere. You can just slap on a label and add less calories, less of each macro and say your bread has 32 calories a slice. When in fact you look at it, you taste it, you see it's just regular as white bread. There's not, no replacement, no substitution of ingredients, no added ingredient that's low calorie, nothing. This has the same calories as this, even though the label says it has three times less. So don't trust these labels, guys. Labels lie to you, and that will certainly knock you off your calorie deficit. You need to do your own research. We got it easier here because we don't have serving sizes. In the US, beyond the calorie count, you also have the serving size. And I saw quite a few articles mentioning products that add crazy serving sizes like, like this one here. I actually got a bunch of laughs from this one. It actually made the serving size of half a cookie. Half a cookie, man. Who eats half a cookie? So pay attention to serving sizes, pay attention to calorie counts, and always question the labels. Don't trust the label because just because you see the calories and macros are good, check the ingredients. Make sure that's true and they're accurate. So I think I've rambled enough for this video. If you like this type of video, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification icon. Watch these two other videos posted on the screen now. And until next time, always remember, you can do it. Everyone can. No exceptions.